So last week I was looking at the garden when it was raining outside and it was just terrible weather and I was trying to figure out the color scheme for this year that I want to do. I'm thinking for spring I want sort of lavenderish purplish tones well light purple pinkish purple tones for this front section and for the section beyond that I'm going to go for apricot peachy pink tones. Now this is the section adjoining the house. I'm going to try and get jewel toned purples, lavenders. This is a section on the other side, on either side of the entrance. And this is just next to um, the dividers. And this is a seating area. This is on the other side of the dividers. I've got a rose and this planter. Now, this archway, I want to train these sweet peas. Right, so this is the area where I want the purple and blue tones. Purple for spring and blue for summer. Okay, so after some thought, I've moved out the second layer of pots. I think I want to keep this area clean and tidy. Because guess what? All I found under the, you know, the... The second layer of pots was just slugs. Um, there's been some slug damage over the past few days, so I really need to control it now. Look now, otherwise, well, I can say goodbye to my gorgeous flowers. I did want to work on some of these containers, um, at least this one. But I don't know whether I'll have the time to do this today. The plan was actually to plant up with that geranium. I think it makes a lovely combination along with the red pansy. But the red pansy, red pansy has been sort of <laughs> bitten to death. So I'll see. This is all budded up. It looks like flowers are on the way. Not sure how long it'll take. Maybe a week? I have done in the hopes of extra color and well also because I don't have any space I've popped in ranunculus combs into some of the bigger pots. In the shade garden there's more activity I think the aquilegia will actually bloom so I'm excited for that. The anemone seems to have another bud maybe another baby on the way. This is your stillway it's got these um, smaller leaves. I'm not sure whether that means it's getting ready to produce some flowers. The leaves are different to the original ones. These ones are different. And usually I find that that's an indication that things are about to set flower. But let's see. And in this corner, I have the astrangia. I don't think we're gonna get any blooms anytime soon. Uh, in fact, I read that they bloom in their second year. I bought this as a nursery plant, so I have no idea if I will even get blooms this year. This I'm really excited to show you. It does actually look like a bud. I hope it's a bud. This is a Himalayan blue poppy. I am so excited. Continuing the tour. The next question is what do I do with this arbor? Or rather the archway. The plan was to allow the Vanessa Bell to grow up a little bit so I can train it above like this and then maybe thread it through. I also bought a climbing rose just for this purpose. I bought the James Galway. It's still budding, it hasn't you know put on any significant growth as yet so I'll just have to wait and see whether I'm gonna get the intended purpose out of it this year. So on the other side I have this clematis. It has beautiful big showy blooms. If you compare it with my hand it's the size of my hand. It's the variety called Bees Jubilee and I bought it as a full-grown plant and it was 
already in bud and it just uh, is blooming now I'm not sure how far it will climb up I think this is a spring one or rather uh, a category two one so I think it's a spring blooming one I don't think this is gonna last a whole of summer so I have to see the pot I have put it in also is kind of it's not very big so I'll have to repot it in autumn I think I don't know whether they'll like it I have another clematis right next to it and I bought it only uh, in autumn it was potted up in autumn just beginning to bloom um, I'll put the name on the screen or in the description I have got ranunculus growing in the pot I haven't worked out a plan for this area it's just uh, you know it's just been reshaped today let me think about what I want to do this is exciting I've got lots and lots of chai flowers about to pop once it does bloom I am gonna make chai vinegar with this now this is a container that I do up every year I have a sort of a challenge going um, last year I tried to plant it up with one pound or you know only sale plants this year I don't have the same kind of um, challenge going the same idea exactly but what I was hoping to do was fill it up with um, plants that I've grown from seed I'm a bit too late for that and the plan for this container is if you look at it in this direction you can see there's I've kind of sectioned it off into two, two sections right so the first section the one that's closest to the house I'm planning to make it sort of sort of a dual colored garden you know more vibrant more blue more purple and this section of the garden I'm going to make it more apricotty and pink um, so therefore this this container I'm going to try and make this a transition container with some blues some pinks um, so that when I look out from my window this is one of the you know the most prominent things that I see so I'm going to try and plant this in a way that bridges the two areas I'm not sure how successful that's going to be but let me try in fact I'm going to use this Nemesia pink it does have a tinge of lavender or purple to it I have a I have a little daisy in here now this is really stressed out and I planted it way too early um, I forget the name of it I'm going to put the name up on the screen and I'll put in a little insert of the actual flowers that this has continuing the uh, apricot theme this is a trailing petunia that's um apricot um, it's called mango so I think that might merge well and this is a peach verbena it's called lanai peach and my plan is to start off the plants here and maybe i can divide them maybe i would be able to get something more to the verbena if i start out the plants here and then i might have um a little plant to put in my hanging basket i'm thinking let's see how I now plant right at the top is an armeria it's called ballerina white I'm very proud of this because I bought this for one pound um, and by the end of last year it was completely it had completely filled out this container and it was blooming even I think in December well not not you know perfectly fresh and uh, perfect blooms but it was still it was still blooming um, so what I did in spring was divide this I just basically ripped it apart um, and this is the second of the two halves it still um, needs to thicken up but it's you know it's already producing uh, um, flowers this little thing here just fell off so uh, I planted it in because it did have some roots attached to it that seems to actually have taken two so anyway let's see this um, um, area are really easy to propagate um, yeah I will quickly just show you this container that I did just a week ago I think now this carnation is in bloom it uh, is now sort of bringing up the pink tones 
However, to kind of match this container, this one has a lot more pinky tones in it. It's overall a lot warmer. So what I would say is, I still love this container. However, this is almost a cool take on that pink and yellow combination. It's almost uh, like um, cool tones. It's picked out the cool tones of that combination. Especially, I think, because this has some green in the middle, like it's a greenish yellow. Um, and this is actually a, I don't know whether it's, it's not being picked up accurately, but it's a coolish pink. All in all, I'm happy though. I wanted to make two similar containers, sisters, to sit on either side of my entranceway. Sisters rather than twins. And I think this kind of comes very close to that. I, I'm not sure whether it comes close enough, but I'm happy. Overall, I've used a couple of principles. For the center, I have used an evergreen or a perennial that will stay good through all the four seasons. I've used four different plants for the four corners. At least a couple of these are perennials and the other two um, will have to be replaced seasonally. So that's it for today. Um, I think next time I try and plant up that container that I was showing you today and show you the results. See you next time.